イデオバスターブレイナー Well, hello everyone, Jaco here. Today we're taking another step in the never ending evolution of Buster Vader decks. I'm actually quite proud of this build, so let's get over it. We're starting with our lineup of. <coughs> 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 uh, sorry, something got into my throat. Uh, Buster Bladers with one retrain and double OG Buster Bladers. Then we're playing the little guy package with three whelps and two dragon busters. And to finish up the busted later part of the deck, we have the trap lineup: one destruction sword flash, double destruction sword memories, and triple prologue of the destruction sword. Well, followed by triple trap trick for the extra consistency. If you've seen any of my latest builds, this is pretty standard. No surprises here. Those are just coming. Next, we have the level one extender package with triple boost warrior, triple jester confit, and double tenny spirit athara. Those are really nice extenders, which are easily searchable by the spell cards War Our Dao and Jack in the Hand, both of which are in free copies in the deck. Our one ups consists of one for one for additional extenders and getting removal of Buster Blader in our hand. Raigeki and Harpy's Feather Duster for additional removal, Absurd Goblin because it's Goblin, Monster Reborn because it's Monster Reborn, and Cold by the Grave for that cheese, that hand trap negation, and Codebreaker Zero Day. Uh, let's stop on this for a moment. The addition of the Codebreaker engine might be a bit of a surprise, but with all the extenders this deck has, it's really easy to use that engine to its fullest potential for some really neat combos. Nibiru is an issue should that line of play be taken, so remember to consider that. And to finish the main deck, we have two copies of the super secret mega tech card Shadow Impulse. This card allows for a special summon of a synchro monster when one synchro monster is destroyed. The summoned monster has to be the same level and type as a destroyed one. This card allows us to mitigate the loss of Buster Dragon summoned by Prologue and swap that guy for a Crystal Link Synchro Dragon, giving the deck an additional disruption. We're playing two copies for two actual reasons. One is to set it via trap trick because we need to, and the other is on the off chance that Crystal Wing is destroyed, it's able to summon Buster Dragon from the extra deck. It's situational, yes, but it has a neat niche in the deck. Going to the extra deck, we start with the Buster Blader package, our double fusions and triple synchros, followed by Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss and Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. After the Synchro package, we have the Link package of the extra deck. So first, let's get over the Codebreaker package. So the single Virus Swordsman, Berserker. This allows us for some really neat Link climbing combos into Goki, the Power Load Ogre. A really decent boss monster. Next we have Crystal Hockey Fibrax, because it's Hockey Fibrax. And next, a really neat addition to the deck, which also helps boost the Codebreaker engine, Draco Master of the Tenny. This might be a surprise, but it's really important. It's the only Link 3 with all down arrows that doesn't require only monsters from the extra deck or with any additional requirements, making him the most generic. That's why he's here. Two plus monsters, including a Link monster, so he pretty much comes from the Halky Fibrax combo. And last but not least, we have Apollosa, Bow of the Goddess, Protector Whelp, and Link Karibo. So, that would be it. Now please enjoy your replays. <laughs> 